okay so in this video I'm going to talk about how to create a paystack account so you can type paystack so paystack is a fintech it's, a, it's a, um, an online site where you can make payments and receive payments so you can create an account so paystack.com then you click on enter paystack.com okay so this is my country i'm in ghana so you create a free account so this is where you click so when you click you start the registration process okay i had already logged in with my details i had already started creating a free account so i'm entering the email address that i used and the password that i used to register so when I'm done, then it's the same process. So try creating an account by going to paystack.com. Okay. And gmail.com. So this is my email address. And I entered my password, the password I used. So I'd already started using my, started doing my free registration. So this is my account, and then I started. So the, you go to profile. So if I go to profile, okay. So so this is my profile, my country, my industry's education, okay. And then my category so my trading okay so this is everything that is available so if I want to edit I click on edit okay so this is my profile okay so this is my trading name so you enter your trading name or your business name if you don't have a business account you specify and create a personal account okay so when you click on create free account we have business and you have personal I chose a business account so my trading name is this okay so you description what is the business about so let me read what the business is about. I mentor people to be able to start or set up their own businesses, to become more self-reliant. Okay, to be able to pro, to be able to provide. Okay, so you type everything to be able to provide for themselves and their families. Okay, so when I'm done, so the staff size. I chose 1 to 5, so you see 1 to 5 people, 5 to 50 people, 50 plus people. So if it's not a business account, don't worry yourself, choose personal account and fill in your uh, your details, your contact and your account number. Okay, so I want, so 1 to 5 people, it's not a very big organization. So after one to five people choosing my, so now my industry is education. So we have agriculture, e-commerce, commerce. You could, if it's e-commerce website or you sell things online, it's commerce. If you sell things, it's also commerce. So education, gaming, financial services, health, hospitality, non-profits, leisure and education, logistics, travel, utilities. So I chose education. So because I mentor people, Okay, so category, another category. So the category have nursery schools, primary school, secondary school because I chose education. So if it's education, so I choose other because it's virtual learning. But I have other, it's at other educational service. I do both virtual learning and then group trainings. Okay, so I also do group training. So I chose other educational services. It's a registered business. 
So it's a starter business, registered. This is a registered business by the Ghanaian Registrar General Department. So I chose what? Registered business. Now, they will tell you that you should upload what valid business registration document to get access to full features. So this is my business name, legal name. This is my business legal name. And then registration type is sole proprietorship. Okay. So proprietorship. And I want to so we are back so you save okay so you save I want to find out what I need to have this okay so the next is the contact So edit. I want to edit. So contact. Okay. So I've already. So my email. My business. Business email address. So my business email address. So I want to edit my business email address. So you can type your email, so your contact, your email address. Support, I need, yes. So, support, I want this. Um, dispute, God forbid, to my website. So when I create, so when you create a website, you can come and edit, okay? You, when you come, you can edit. So I save. So when I enter my website, I'll enter the URL of my website here. That's when it's ready, which is very soon. It will be ready. So I've chosen my registration address: Ghana, Eastern Region, City, Bekusu, and the address. Okay. So I'm done. So use registered address. So I'm saving. So you can change all the details that you have. You can change all the details that you have. So account. So this is the account number, my account details that I use. So when you enter your account details and you are done. You can decide to edit or not. Anytime you want to do any edits. So certificate of registration. So my business registration. I can just choose files. I'll go to downloads. Okay. You can preview to check if it is the same document. So this is my registration, my business registration document. So it is this. So I open. I need to upload. So as it's uploading, I decide to enter my tin. We call something tin in Ghana. Okay, so you enter it. 
So when you are done uploading and you are done entering your TIN number, then it means that you are on your way to registration. You are almost getting to be done. So when you are done, so I check if it was there, then document so you upload. Okay, so everything is uploaded. So you can activate the business, okay. You can activate the business. So you see the feedback I'm getting. We are reviewing your business activating re as facing request. Please expect feedback at your administration's email address within 24 hours. So within 24 hours, I'll receive a mail if everything is activated. Okay. So that's all. So assuming if I want to also create a personal account. If I want to create a new personal account, not a business account, using Paystack, use paystack.com. Paystack.com. You click on enter and create free account. So you create free account. So let's go how it will look like. So basically, it's for people that has on, have online businesses and they have registered businesses. So if you want to create an online business which is not registered, you can still go ahead. But just as in my demonstration, when you go here, when you go to a con uh, con uh, profile, profile, business type, you realize that this place, okay, this place, you have starter business and registered business. So if you are now about to start your business then you rather choose started starter business but in this case my business is registered so i chose registered business and i provided the documents so when you sign up you choose your country so if it's nigeria you choose your business name so let's say it's exquisite design or exquisite bakery or let me use exquisite this uh, yeah catering services exquisite catering services Then your first name, maybe your name is Angel. Your first name is Angel. And then your last name is Chuku. So this is just an example. Just to make it easy for you. So you this is how you create your account. So create your account. Your country, your, the name of your business. If it's not yet registered, you can still create an account online. You, you, you choose start a business. Then when you are done, you can come and change your details to registered business. So first name, Angel last name chuku email address maybe your email address is then your phone number you, you enter your phone number okay you can decide to enter your phone number okay so when you are done entry your phone number let's see your phone number is Then the password that you want to use. Okay, so the password that you want to use. So any password that you want to use. So you kindly choose eight characters minimum. So eight characters minimum. For example, this. You 
see. So this is an example of a good password. I used letters, figures, which is letters A, B, C, D, figures, one, two, three. I used keywords like at, dot, and maybe dollar sign. Okay, so when you use that, it means it's a strong password. So you see, so my own. So they said I should add one uppercase. It means the first letter should be. So the first letter should be capital. So you see that my password is good, isn't it? Uh huh. So when you are done, you choose starter business. If you if you are not registered, the first process is for people that have registered business. So that's that's for you. If you are now you want to just start an online business and you want to receive payments online, you click on starter business. If you are a software developer, meaning that you can do a, you can create a website, you can make websites. It means you are a software developer. You can make app apps. You can make applications. It means you are a software developer. So you click yes, I am, and you consent. Immediately you consent. You can create your account. Okay. But because I don't create another account, I'll just leave it like this. Okay. I'll just leave it like this. Okay. I'll just leave it like this. So create, continue and create your account. So I'll put my email address in the description to this video. If you are encountering any challenge, kindly contact me. Okay. So kindly subscribe. In my next video, I'll be showing you how to register for Stripe. Okay. See you in my next video. Bye.